The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. Going to be a great show today. Of course, HolidayInsights.com says today is Make a Hat Day. Well, I didn't have to make a hat. Somebody just sent me a hat. He has patented. He has copyrighted. Well, I guess I don't know if you copyright hats, but he's made and patented the hat and the whole style and everything, and it's in my mailbox today. And this is a brand new hat, which is available to all of us if you would like to get one. But its uh, I don't have to make it, but I'd love to show it. It is the Merge the Cross with the Star of David, the Christian and Judaism together. And on the back, it says, I stand with my brother. We're to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We're supposed to love the Lord, the true Messiah. And so this is the perfect blend. We, as a matter of fact, we sent one to the President of the United States. And uh, we just uh, believe that revival is coming to America. Are you ready? Roll it. The Kevin Shorey Show. Take before a live studio audience at the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today, Kevin's special guest, Randall Christie. And our employee of the month, Scott Hoffman. And now, he wears many hats, most of them 10-gallon hats, but he might be a court blow. Here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show. Isn't it a great day to serve the Lord? And uh, so we have a great program, starting off with some music. Here's a great classic song. He is the owner-operator of the Passion Play in Eureka Springs. I love this man. We got some shows coming up right live from the amphitheater there and all over the park. It's a beautiful place. We're going to talk about it just a little bit. But the man, talk about wearing a bunch of hats. He wears a hat of not only running the Passion Play and an evangelist, but he is a great singer. Here he is, Randall Christie. Thank you. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows I believe for everyone who goes astray someone will How about you? That's what it's all about. I believe. I believe in God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that Jesus died on the cross to save all mankind and to redeem Israel to himself again. That's why I love this hat. Don't you love this hat? And uh, you can help us, to, you know. Uh, a $20 gift, two for 30. We will send it to you. And uh, I think one size, I know one size fits all. Let's see, because I got a big head. Are you ready? Here we go. Beautiful. 
It's a show. You clap. See, you wouldn't. Okay. But we want to send it to you free shipping. Just go and find that on there, kevinchory.com, or call this number right there, for, uh, not 417, <laughs> 844-47-KEVIN. And those are the brand new uh, Jewish Israel hats. Matter of fact, John Hagee is getting some, and I think he's going to offer, we were hoping, and uh, so it's a great, this, this man has, has helped our ministry by giving, uh, giving us a very decent price to, to get them so that we can offer them to you and make some, uh, some money for our ministry as well. Pastor Gary McSpadden has done the same thing. And we hope you will get this Secret Spirits That Destroy. This is an eight set CD. The Jezebel Spirit, Cain Spirit, Leviathan Spirit, Absalom Spirit, Spirit of rebe Rebellion. And the first one in this series is uh, the snakes in the church, the Python Spirit. I'm telling you, this is great teaching. There's eight CDs. You know, if you get 20 CDs, I mean, you get eight Back up. If you get a CD for $20 and you get eight, that's a $160 value right there. And then there's the scriptures and thoughts to bring healing. So you got another one. I mean, that's an $180 to $200 value that we are offering today. Last day I can do this. Uh, they're gonna, we're going to add a little bit more, but it'll never be 180 but we, we're going to give you a deal. I've been in ministry 34 years, and so for $34, $34, and we pay for the shipping, you get this eight-set series on the, the, man, the secret spirits of the story. You need to know how to pray for your church, how to pray against these spirits, and recognize when it's happening to your church or to your family or anybody around you. These are real deals, but greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, and we shall fight. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold. One of the strongholds is sickness, and if you're sick in body uh, or you're just in, feeling weak or you just need some strength, the scripture and thoughts to bring healing. It's not only Gary singing beautiful songs like There is a River, but Dino Kartsanakis plays on one. D, the great Dino keyboardist, uh, piano, pianist, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, what he plays. And so the music with the message, I'm telling you, this is a great thing that you need to have today. And uh, those who are watching live on Facebook, come on and call in today. Call in right now. You can write to us also at P.O. Box 1122, Branson, Missouri 65615. Many have done that and became our partner. Uh, other ministries call them partners. We call them our family of friends. And this month's gift, because our family of friend members get gifts every month, uh, as well as special notes and emails. But I always include a note personally from me to all of our family of friends once a month with a gift. This month's gift is not only the one, the only Wait a minute, that's me. Uh, my brand new CD, though, and I think this is a great CD because I put this together, not because I think I have a great voice, but these are some great songs that I know will bless you and encourage you and bring healing. There's a couple of songs about healing. I'm all about that and staying healed and whole in the name of Jesus. And that's on Finishing Strong, my new CD that I'm going to get. You, anybody else can get that, but you're getting it free if you join up as a family or friend member. Plus, we're sending some sticky notes with you uh, with, and a little cover that says, what a blessing you are to me. This was handcrafted by one of our vendors right here in the Branson Mill, Desiree, and uh, she has her own craft room and toy emporium, and uh, she made that so we could send to our partners for this month of September. And by the way, today, uh, yesterday, I sang at the Autumn Days Historic Downtown Branson Arts Crafts Festival Music and Food. They should have put food on there. Would Arts Crafts Music and Food Festival. I sang there yesterday. You come on. You go go there today if you haven't been, and go visit the Autumn Days. There's all kinds of music from everybody around town. Uh, all these great talents and musicians and stuff. Plus, there's great arts and crafts and food, like I said. So go to Omnizes today and tomorrow's the last day. So you need to go. All right. That's, four, that's September 14th. That's when I sang. And 15th and 16th. So make sure you hit that before the weekend is up for sure. And if you're in town, go see one of my new favorites, one of my favorite shows. The Hughes Brothers have two great shows. They have three shows, but I don't, I've never seen the third one, so I can't tell you what's great. I hear it's great. They're called Six. But the Hughes Brothers have the greatest show. I'm telling you, it's called The It Show. And the whole world talks about it. They're talking about this show. McDonald's, I'm loving it, right? 
Nike, just do it. That's so you have to go and see the Hughes brothers and their morning shows, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is Oh Happy Day. And that is a great gospel, going back to gospel show. So when you're in Branson, go there. I just wanna put a plug in for them every day because I think it's a great, a great theater, great shows that are happening there. So go and see it, get your hat today. And we got one more product. You can find all about it on uh, kevinshorey.com. And uh, my wife stars in this, my son produced it. And uh, the rest of them are great actors. Here is about woundies. What happened? I fell down, scraped my elbow. I ran into a thorn bush while I was hiking. I got mauled by 15 raccoons. Do, Do you, you have, have woundies? woundies? Never leave without it. Woundies, an all natural wound healing gel good for cuts, scrapes, and abrasions. Order yours today for only $25 or three for 60. Woundies, it can fix anything. Okay, you two are all set. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. What about me? You need to go to the hospital. Woundies, it can fix almost anything. And we're back, yes, give me a hand, okay. I heard there's a lady in our audience that is 93 years old. Is she 93 years old? Wow, congratulations, because you look, uh, right over there, you look marvelous, you're wonderful. You, you, can we show you on TV? Would you like to show everybody how wonderful you look at 93 on TV? She said no, so we can't show you, but trust me, she says, I know, I love it, it's beautiful. It's like you took the time to come out here, you didn't care whether you had the curlers or not, you're, it's great. But that's okay, we won't put you, you gotta have permission, you know, to, to put her on TV. But doesn't she look great for 93? The world is gonna guess, but. You know, today's 93 is, you know, is yesterday's 63. So she's, she's, she's right on, she's doing great. Get your woundies today, that not only helps you with scrapes and abrasions, but it also keeps away bacteria. So it's a double whammy, it's a great healer, it has a beautiful clove smell, it's called woundies. Check that out today too. Ah, I'm so honored today to have a great man of God. Man, he's been a minister for a thousand years, but it now seems like it. for the yeah. past, uh, has it been five years now that you've been with the Passion Play? And, yes, correct. And running that mm -hmm. and uh, doing a marvelous job. Would you welcome Randall Christie to the Kevin oh. Shorey Show? Thank you, Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you for Thank being you. back. You know, I always go back and I try not to live in the past, but it's always kind of a... a um, humorous to me anyway, that uh, the first time you were on our program, we did a whole show uh -huh. and nobody pushed the record button. And, uh, or, or I think they pushed the record and it got deleted. That happens to I, me a lot. Is it really? <laughs> I'm sorry. It won't happen. To, wait a minute. Is the bu button pushed? Are we recording? Yes. There's, we got a thumbs up. So as long as we keep people like Mark away from deleting the, bu the oh. program, but just kidding, uh, <laughs> then uh, no, we're good. And uh, we taped and we're going to show pretty soon in the next couple yeah, of weeks. Uh, we were down at your uh, wonderful, wonderful place. I mean, everybody that comes to Branson for sure, and if you don't come to Branson, go to Eureka Springs uh -huh. and see this passion play, the amphitheater with how many stars, how many, how many actors and animals and all that? I mean, is Well, there's, there's over a hundred in the cast. Wow. And and uh, animals, you know, a lot of sheep and donkeys and horses and camels, and uh, it's really, really it's something to see. Massive amphitheater that's yes, like about in a football those, field. Yeah, uh -huh. it, it, football field, long stage, mm -hmm. and the audience seats what uh, three four thousand four thousand, yes. and it's just right there, yes. like in the rock. I mean, it's just it oh, it's beautiful on the hillside and. And yeah. that's just one thing. I mean, there's the statue of Jesus. That's yes. worth just spending, having a picnic lunch and hanging out there mm -hmm. at the feet of Jesus. That's well, how that's I correct. felt. Uh, you and have by the, the way, the New York Times just reported that the statue of Christ the Ozarks is the number four most popular in America. Wow. Yeah. Foremost place to go and see in America? The like, way they reported it was, according to tourism statistics, yeah. uh, the popular statues that have been visited in 2016 was uh, Lincoln Memorial, Mount Rushmore, Statue of Liberty, and Christ of the Ozarks. Wow, that's great. Right here in our own backyard yeah. in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and that is amazing. And then you have something close to my heart. You have animals. You have not only mm -hmm. in the play, but you have a little zoo. It's, uh, do you call it uh -huh. Noah's Ark Park? That's right. <laughs> Noah's Ark it. Park. 
Yes. It's really cool, and it's just new mm -hmm. and uh, just open. Mm -hmm. Not uh, recently, we got uh, farm animals, but also some uh, llamas and mm -hmm. various things. Yeah. A little a big old rabbit. Kids can pet him. Yeah. He's got his own special oh, he, he's palace. Big. Yeah. <laughs> he's almost as big as a llama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, and then one thing of real great interest that I think everybody has to see. Because if you can never afford to ever go to the Holy Land yourself, mm -hmm. you have exact replicas of some of the great sites in the Holy Land. That's correct. Including the tabernacle itself. Mm -hmm. I, I felt the presence of the Lord there. I really did. I know mm -hmm. it just may sound odd, but I, I, I really felt the presence mm -hmm. and almost what they must have felt in the Old Testament as, mm -hmm. as they built and worshipped in the, built the tabernacle and worshipped in the tabernacle. And uh, then the, uh, the tomb the empty yes. tomb, just exact replica. You've been to the real. Right, the so garden So you can tell us that's the garden mm -hmm. tomb, right? It looks just like it. It's <sighs> built just like it. And so if you can't go to the garden tomb, the empty tomb yes, sir. of Jesus that's in right. Israel, empty. then you can come to this one. You can actually walk inside of it, mm -hmm. stand there, and see the place where he laid. And, and a lot of people can't travel that far or whatever the reason, but this is very authentic mm -hmm. uh, version of, of oh, Bible times. I felt the Lord there too. I mean, because he's alive. That tomb is empty. The stone is rolled away. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, I was just rereading Matthew 16 where he says, who do you say that I am? And, and finally Peter got it right and says, mm -hmm. you're the Christ, the son of the living mm -hmm. God. Why is it? Because he's alive. He's real. He's still there in right. our hearts and he is in control of everything. Mm -hmm. It looks like the whole world is out of control. But Jesus said these last days, there'd be stuff mm -hmm. like this. I mean, there was a, uh, on this taping today, an earthquake quake, I guess, down in the south, uh, mm -hmm. like in, Amer in uh, Mexico area, they're saying there may be a tsunami. I mean, just the warning of that. You, when you hear things like, uh, this is the most, or this is the worst, or mm -hmm. this is, because uh, I think now the category five hurricanes, mm -hmm. two in a row has never been like that since mm -hmm. recorded weather. I mean, just things like that. You see that Jesus uh, is not out of control, but it, the world is. Right. But Jesus is more in control than ever because he says, these times shall come, mm -hmm. but be of good cheer for I've overcome the world. Come yeah. on now, somebody give That's Jesus right. praise. That's right, he did say that. And, uh, and he said, upon this confession of our faith, you, I will build my church. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I'm setting you up for, to ask you, what do you think the state of the, this United States, because I know there's another cause that you stand up for, mm -hmm. you know, about taking out the whole confession of our faith, which is the cross. Right. And, and, and uh, what's going on? What, what do you see? Well, Stand for the Cross is a movement that we've started that is trying to bring attention to areas in the United States where the cross is literally under attack. Unbelievable. Pensacola, Florida, for instance, City Park, beautiful cross, been there for many decades. And there's a group that sued to take it down. A federal judge uh, agreed that they must take it down. Now it's being appealed. They have allowed it to stay up pending appeal. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a philosophy in this society today that uh, it's not not right for any government property or any government anything to uh, participate in the Christian belief. And I would say that that is absolutely not what the Constitution says. Mm -mm. The Constitution says that our government is not supposed to prohibit right. and is not supposed to declare an official state church. church. And that's the only thing only. the Constitution says. Right. The rest of it has been embellished by man for various right. reasons. And so we're trying to stand for the cross in our home state, uh, I should say our headquarters headquarters is located in Oklahoma, even though Great Passion plays in Arkansas. We mm -hmm. have radio stations around various places, Texas, Tennessee, yes, all sir. over. But anyway, in our home state, there is a cross on top of a chapel in our local university. Yeah, It's a chapel donated right. by That's, a family right. for that purpose of right. being open to everyone to go in and pray. And there's a cross on top of it, and there is a Washington, D.C. anti-Christian, anti-cross group wanting to cut it off. And so we're fighting to hold yeah. it up. Our attorney general in Oklahoma agrees with us. Yeah. He's standing with Why us. Why is there even a fight? It's a church. Well, Why it is. Why would you put a cross but on it? But it's on state property. Okay. And so this is the 
potential test case we've been looking for and yeah and we need to stand and fight this all the way to the supreme court you know the green family did it yes sir and they won they won there's other situations similar that uh, people it's time for christians to quit backing off and say well god will handle it yeah let me tell yeah. you no god wants to handle it through you through us and That's if you're right. not willing to stand up right then why should he handle it that's the scripture just upon exactly that confession right. upon what you say upon your your confession of christ mm -hmm. and standing up for yeah. the cross of calvary standing up for the lord jesus christ that saved you that's how he builds the church exactly. that's how we extend the kingdom of god right we have to we've got to occupy the land till he returns totally. is what he said yes sir and some and i do agree totally 100 percent that god's in control but i also know for a fact that god chooses not to control Right. Every situation. Exactly. The because of human right. free will. And he wants people to repent and choose to follow him. Mm -hmm. So all of that works together. And, and we've got to quit copping out and yeah. backing up. We got to stand up. Oh, you get me fired for the up. cross. Yes, sir. Of all things. Of all Kevin, things. That is the crux of our faith. We got to stand up that for the, the cross. Foundation of mm -hmm. our faith. That's an empty cross mm -hmm. and an empty tomb mm -hmm. that shows that he died. He said it is finished. It's mm -hmm. taken care of. He rose from the dead. The tomb is empty. The stone was rolled away, not so he could get mm -hmm. out, but so that everybody could look in right. and see that he is alive and he is well. And if right. we don't stand up today, we may lose some of those liberties that we've had. What this we nation will. was founded on. People say, well, they'll never be able to do that and I say well they they people said they would never take prayer out of school people said they would never uh, legislate these uh, chaplains in the army and limit what they do on and right. on the list goes we don't know what's next it could easily be that the cross must be removed from all public view yeah. because it infringes on the rights of others regardless right. of what property it's on listen yeah no if you give them an inch the enemy will right. take a mile you know you just can't you can't i mean they've to try to take away the manger scenes the nativity mm -hmm. scenes at christmas time around america mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. ten commandments have been ruled out of government buildings now and they said well yeah. this could never happen in even america. though the ten commandments are front and center on the u.s supreme court building yes sir is there and where we get all of our laws really yeah. most of our laws come from the ten commandments how can you not say mm -hmm. that's true history you right. know just in the in a, in a natural mm -hmm. you know basis uh, not even spirituality yeah. stand but for the course, cross dot com. That's stand for the cross dot com. Okay, cross and we'll put it up too. Dot com. Yes, and I am thankful. What you know, whether it happens or not, I know politics are politics. Yeah. But our president has said, as long as he is president, he will stand up for yeah. the Christian values, and he will make sure the church is protected. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm thankful we have a, uh, a, a, a president that is at least stating that publicly. Mm -hmm. right. So that is, and that's why we're sending him the the new hat. Shameless plug. Oh, yeah. But uh, yes, we're. Sending <laughs> and uh, but thank you so much. I'm on my soapbox now. I'm gonna stay on my soapbox. We're gonna end in a song. Uh, but before I do that, would you just uh, pray, pray for yes. America and the peace of Jerusalem? Pray for our president, and just pray that God's people will stand up in this hour. Lord, we just pray in Jesus' name that you will send a great revival. Oh to our yes, land. Lord. Whatever it takes, Lord, to bring the people of our country and our world back to Jesus Christ. Whatever it takes. And God, we just lift your name up above all names. Yes, Lord. As a nation, we're not afraid to stand for Jesus Christ. And as a nation, we're not afraid to stand with Israel. And we ask you, God, to help us stand. Give us the strength to stand and the angels to fight our battles. We give it all to you, and we'll do our part as well. Yes, Please use us, O oh God, yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Randall, if you'll go and get ready for this song, because my faith is lifted again, because I know the answer is there, but it's found in God's people. Today, would you pray? Would you write your congressman? Would you stand up for the cross? Go to this organization's website and do what you can to support. And let's do what we can as God's people and as Christian Americans. Come on. I know that we're getting distractions from the enemy with these hurricanes and these storms and these the, the war and rumor of wars. I mean, but this is part of the end times. And this is the time not for us to shrink back and hide or put our heads in the sand like an ostrich, but it's time for us to stand up and the church to shine now more than ever. I believe that. Come on, let's get together. Let our faith be lifted again. It's like when we found out, you know, that, that we had some setbacks even in this ministry. 
My faith was not deterred. I was a little discouraged. I needed some help, but I went to the word. I went to God in prayer. My faith gets lifted again. Let our faith be lifted. Let's go forward. And uh, I'm setting up this song really well. So man, I, I want you to bring it forth. We'll close out with this song because I know that I know that I know we are the salt of the earth. We are the light to the world. We have been called. We're chosen for this time and this place. He calls you a chosen generation. You've been born for such a time as this. Do as God calls you to do and let everyone know Jesus is the answer for the world today. One more time, Randall Christie. Just when my strength was gone Just when the world was closing in Jesus gave me a song And my faith was lifted again Yes, my faith was lifted again Jesus came and spoke peace to my soul And my faith was lifted again seems so strange and dark when life is hard to explain the Lord will take you up in his arms your faith will be lifted again and my faith was lifted again yes my faith was lifted again Jesus came in and spoke peace to my soul Promotional consideration paid for by Meyer Hotels. Guests of the Kevin Chory Show stay at the Platinum Award winning Comfort Inn and Suites, Branson Meadows. The guest rooms are spectacular with over 30 suites. Cool off in the refreshing indoor pool and hot tub or enjoy free hot breakfast every day. For more information or to make reservations, call 877-7-HOTELS. The preceding program was brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends.